Hi, I'm Jacob Kirk, your campus cook. Now just because you live in a dorm doesn't mean that you can't cook. Now today I'm going to show you how to make a home style spaghetti from scratch in, in your own dorm. So I'm going to use a coffee maker and a microwave and we're going to get rolling on this spaghetti meal. All you do, take a handful of pasta, break it in half. Add a little, a little salt. This is going to be the only time you can actually flavor your pasta. Once I flip it on, I'm going to let it sit. And by the time that all the water's in there, we let it sit for like two, three minutes, and our pasta's done. It's incredible. It actually tastes pretty good. So from there, we're going to start with our sauce. I'm going to take one onion. Cut off the end. Onion. Onion here. You can use the rest for like tacos or something. Take your onion in there. A little salt. Take one clove of garlic. Pop. And into the bowl with the onions. A little olive oil, make sure that your onions and garlic are coated. Otherwise, they're going to burn. And it doesn't taste good or smell good. All right, give it a little bit of a toss toss there. Microwave for one minute. Oh. Should have cleaned my microwave. <laughs> and while that's going, can get ready with our sauce. I got one can of diced, no salt added, tomatoes. Strain out. Just want to get most of the juice out so it's not too watery. There we go. Now I'm only going to use about half a can. If I was having company over or anything, I'd probably use the whole can, like that. No worries. Just like that. I'm going to take about a teaspoon of tomato paste. A tomato paste is like your thickening agent. It's what, what's going to give this sauce the body, so that way it's not like water or soup. Here we go. Onion is done. Now what you look in here is for the onions to be softened. You know how you know they're softened? Take a taste. I'm bad. Nice, softened. Oil in there. That's going to contain a lot of the flavor from the garlic and the onions. So be liberal with it. Take our pepper. Fresh cracked pepper. Don't use the stuff in the can. It tastes like, like sawdust. Boom. Stir that up. That's like our sauce. But we need something to kind of kick it up to that next notch to really flavor it. So what I'm going to do is take fresh, not dried, not, you know, freeze dried. This is what you call chiffonade. It's a fancy term for long strips. And fresh oregano. Now take fresh. You can grow it yourself. I do. Boom. Once again, we're just going to rock the knife. Get the oils coming out of it. There we go. Man, I'm telling you, when you cut fresh herbs, the whole room just lifts up. I mean, you can just smell the fragrance of this, the fresh herbs. Get right in there. Oh yeah. You see that? That's what you want. Is you just want this this white, this yellow, this green, this red. Oh man, that's what that's what you live for. 
as a as a student, you need these kind of meals, these hearty meals to kind of remind you of home, keep you going when you're doing those long nights with the books. Yeah. Now, on my coffee maker, I have like an automatic stop so it doesn't keep dripping. If yours doesn't, just work very quickly. Give it a little bit of a zhuzh here to, so that way your noodles aren't going to stick together. But since we have so much water as compared to the noodles, we're not going to worry too much about it sticking. So back on. And our noodles are almost done here. So our sauce is done. That means that our noodles are probably done too. So I'm going to give this a stir and give it a taste. Wow, they really mean no salt added. Okay. So I'm going to take some salt. Remember, this is to your liking. This isn't my recipe. It's your recipe. So season it. If it doesn't taste like it's seasoned, season it some more. I'm gonna add some more pepper. I like a little bit more pepper. Give it a stir. All right. Give it a taste. Oh. That's good. We're gonna pop it in. One more minute. Boom. While that's going, I'm gonna get my noodles. Now let's see if our noodles are done. Oh yeah, those are done. And you know how you can tell? Taste it. And you want it a little bit firm, that's called al dente. Awesome, I love making noodles in a coffee maker because it's like its own strainer. So right there, done. Noodles are done. Turn off the coffee maker so they don't burn. And let's wait for our sauce. All right, well, I'm out of beer, but my sauce is done. So, boom! Now, yes, it looks chunky, yes, it looks rustic, but what? It's home style. This is to remind you of home. Now, I don't know, my mom never made this for me, but here we go. You just stir in your noodles. Look at that. Now, is that not a meal? that you could enjoy? That's freaking awesome. <laughs> All right. So, Parmesan cheese right on top. Add a little bit more of that saltiness to it. So, from my dorm room to yours, I'm Jacob Kurtz, your campus cook. Thanks for watching. For more of my recipes, check out my blog at myspace.com backslash campus cook. Okay, you want meat? All right, how about some meatballs? In here, I got some Italian sausage. I just threw them on the uh, George Foreman to crisp them in the oven to finish them. Boom. And there. Meatballs. That's pretty good too.